Welcome to Katie Can't Read. I'm Katie. I can read. And you know what we're doing today? We're going to another bookstore. Okay, so last night I was live with Elise doing our Heartstopper coloring thing. And we didn't end up coloring very much. We just ended up gossiping. And it was really fun. But to, she told me about a bookstore in here that I haven't been yet. And by in here, I mean in New York. And I haven't been there yet. And I want to go. And I'm like, why not make it a video? why not make it a video and because I'm moving on Saturday of this week and so I gotta gotta go check it out um I don't know much about it I know that it's within walking distance so we're gonna walk there and it's gonna be really nice and fun um and yeah it's a reward to go to the bookstore today because I finished all of my finals yay yay and I'm going to try and upload three videos this week because you guys I feel bad for <laughs> for only doing one last week and so you know what we finished all our finals let's all be proud of me for like four seconds just kidding I don't need your validation I'm proud of myself and I'm gonna go to the bookstore I'm going to try not to buy anything but you never know you never know um, I'm gonna vlog it we're gonna have a good time and then I'll come back and we'll chat this will be a short video, probably. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> okay. So this bookstore is called Book Off, and it is in Midtown Manhattan, and I'm going to walk there now. And I'm going to show you my cute outfit before we leave. Also, happy Jenya David earrings. Because I saw a TikTok this morning about them, and uh, I spiraled. Just kidding. <laughs> so I had to wear them. Okay, we're going on a walk. It's gonna be, it's a lovely day in the city. It's like 70 something degrees. I love it here. We're gonna vlog it. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, bye. Okay, friends, here's the fit. She's got a little dress on and it's yellow and it has, hold on, where is it? It has pockets. And I feel like both a Jungle Cruise skipper and a Little House on the Prairie character. I love it. And the mushroom mask, the strand bag, because everyone must know that I'm a book person.
that back. Ah! And I don't want to set up my ring light, so we're doing it this way. Okay, so I did get some things from Book Off, and then I ended up going to Barnes & Noble just to wander. You know, I didn't end up getting anything at Barnes & Noble because I'm good. But I did wander. And so, review of Book Off. Book Off is incredible. I will... I wish it was like I had discovered it earlier because I would have made it like a weekly thing to go because it's a used bookstore where you go sell your books and then they put them out and they're like, hey, buy these for like a really stupid cheap price. So there were like halves of series there. There were full series. Just about everything was under like $10 as far as I could tell. Um, even like newish books or like new condition. Uh, there was no new releases though. Like it wasn't that kind of place. They also had movies and DVDs and games and like guitars. Fancy. And it was just like a really cool experience to go. Um, I did find some things. They had like one dollar sections and I almost bought City of Bones and City, A City of Ashes in paperback um, for a dollar, but then I didn't. And the only reasons I didn't was one, because if I'm going to get the all this the, all the Mortal Instruments, I like the ones with the cool spines that are like the new paperbacks. I don't want the old paperbacks. And secondly, um, <laughs> I'm moving on Saturday. And I don't have that much space, so we're trying to limit how many things I get. But sometimes you can see an, uh, uh, an opportunity you can't pass up, which is why I got three. Um, that's also why I didn't get anything at Barnes & Noble, because I'm worried that, you know, I'm going to run out of space. I definitely am. I digress. Um, <laughs> anyway, a book off was really cool. Um, I had a really good time. I was just enamored by it all. I think I was there for like 45 minutes, just wandering and staring. There was like, I found a copy of, <laughs> I found a copy of Vengeful by V.E. Schwab that was like $30, but it was only because it was signed. And I was like, wow, wow. I think it was the signed special edition from when it first came out. So I was like, that's, that's neat. But yeah, let's do a haul. Um, cool. Sorry, it, yeah, let's do a haul, shall we? So the first book that I'm going to show you is actually the last book I grabbed, and I grabbed Scythe by Neil Schusterman, um, because it was a dollar. It was a dollar. I've honestly never been interested in reading this until I saw that it was a dollar, and I said, you know what? We're just going to grab it. A lot of people love this. A lot of people love this series. A couple people I know don't like the last two books, but that's fine. I just got the first one. So I'm excited to read this and hopefully enjoy it, and it'll be a good time. Sight by Neil Schusterman. And then the other two I got, I think were like my best finds. I actually wasn't planning on getting anything until I saw these, and I was like, ah, oh, you blew it. Anyway, <laughs> I found the last two books in the Infernal Devices in the paperback covers that I want and they were five dollars a piece and I said well you know what I'm never gonna find them in this good of a condition for this cheap again and so I grabbed them I'm bummed that I didn't have the first one but I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna go to the strand and get the first one um, used because buy used books, you guys. Don't buy new books. I actually was going to Barnes & Noble and I was like, if Clockwork Angel isn't that expensive, I might grab it. And it was $15. And I was like, no, thank you. So I um, might go down later this week or I won't. You never know. But I got them. And this vlog will be coming in July because I will not read these during Pride Month. I refuse. Um, but I am, this is the one I'm most excited to read for my Shadowhunter series because everyone thinks that these are incredible and groundbreaking and I've never read them. So I'm excited to read them for the first time eventually, but I found them and I love these covers. I love these spines. I love these spines. Look, they're so good. Like, when I go to the, the bookstore and I see all of these with all their spines out, I'm like, gosh, I want to give that publisher a kiss on the mouth for these spines. Like, wow. They all connect. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, 
Here's the, here we go. Here's the haul. Yay. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm, I was walking home and I was starting to feel kind of bummed and sad because like, this is it. This is my last week in Manhattan for a while and it started to hit, but I am excited for my new adventure. Um, and I'm thankful you guys joined me today. Uh, drop some comments, you know, tell me what you think. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I already said all that. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next chapter.